Hello YouTube. Very interesting news uh, were published in the Russian media on March 12, uh, 2022. This has to do with a space mission that was not, as far as I know, announced before and uh, with rather few details available even now. See, I make him be mistaken, but some Russian sites pertaining to space exploration I just cannot reach on the internet. And I understand many are locked now due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, but I have not heard much about this mission before. Uh, I don't even want to say much, basically nothing. In the summer of 2018, a second Russian Soyuz TMA-02M spacecraft was sent from Baikonur spaceport and it contained human bones that were sent into space for the first time with the help of fragments of human biomaterial or biological material. Experts will investigate the main causes, the rate of leaching of calcium from the bone tissue. All astronauts face this problem while on a long space flight. Their bones become more fragile long before old age. The thing is that calcium in a state of weightlessness is excreted from the body at a rapid pace. The question of the rapid leaching of calcium from the body by an astronaut is of interest to doctors who monitor the condition of space new crew members, new space explorers. The research is carried out by specialists and experts from various um, countries participating in the International Space Station program. The need to send a human skeleton was explained as follows. Previously, all studies to solve the problem were carried out by specialists or experts using the urine of astronauts. However, this material does not allow a scientist to get a complete picture to detect the concentration of calcium in the bone tissue. It is difficult to overestimate the importance of this study. After all, in advanced cases, vertebral fractures can occur even in the absence of external influence due to the load created by the weight of one's own body. Therefore, small fragments of the human skeleton become the, name, the main biomaterial that had to be sent to the International Space Station. They were provided by doctors from the Skli Fasovsky Research Institute in Russia. The fragments were placed on 16 test tubes inside of which there is like a special solvent. The specialists carrying out experiments they plan to return four test tubes with human material to Earth every three to four months. Tatiana Krasheninikova, the head of the experiment, explained that the material undergoes some changes during its stay in orbit. Thanks to this, scientists will be able to determine exactly how much biological material remains in its original form and how much has dissolved to its stay on the International Space Station. It should be recalled that similar studies have been conducted before. However, for research, scientists have chosen living organisms, aquarium fish medaka. The mechanism of their cartilage development are similar to mammals. Already in the first day of their stay in orbit, 105 genes were actively working in the fish. Of this number, five genes um, impact the development of skeletal cells. Weightlessness disrupted the mechanisms of their work and led to significant changes in the structure of bone tissue. It remains to be hoped that the observations will help solve the problem of calcium excretion, not only from the body of astronauts, but also ordinary people. Very interesting. Of course, the invasion of Russian armed forces and the war in Ukraine will set this back. But such science cannot be abandoned. 
sooner or later mankind will need to explore and settle the outer space and we need to learn how to remove the outer limits from our quest i have described other dangers encountered by soviet russian and ukrainian cosmonauts and also their strange encounters that i'm aware of and you will find it in the playlists uh, for this um, for my channel so there'll be more of such information coming in the future and um, if you like my research please uh, support me um, and i thank those who do through the links available in the description to this video thank you and please uh, subscribe to my channel and tell others i appreciate it